All right, so last week we showed you using small speed lights to light a subject. This week, we're moving up, like we told you, to the monolight. Now this thing's got 500 watt seconds of power, and these are the days that we really have a hard time using speed lights, especially in uh, open areas like this. So what's happening is I have a lot of hot spots in the background, and the only way that I can make those spots darker is to close down my lens and make them darker. But when I looked at my exposure, what I had seen is I needed to go to F11 to get an exposure that I like. The problem is at F11, Jessica almost just turns totally in the darkness there. She's almost a silhouette. So that's where we have to take that 500 watts of power. Right now I have it uh, one stop of light less than its maximum power right now. So we're probably using somewhere right around 420 watts on her. And that's what it's taking to light her up so that she's just as bright as our background. So let's take a shot and let's see what happens. So what you're gonna notice is, I actually now would normally, to get her exposed, especially with something like a small speed light that's putting out 70 watts of power, not only would I have to have that light extremely close to her, but I would lose all the detail in the background. And in this particular instance, I wanna keep the detail, I wanna see things in the back. So this is one of those times where a small speed light really doesn't have any advantage over a large mono light. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about using our soft boxes. This is one thing I see a lot of people doing. Whenever they're using a soft box, they're looking at their soft box, thinking of it like a flashlight, like this light is coming straight out of the soft box. And what happens is our thinking is we need to point it right at our, at our subject. The problem is, is that no matter how good our soft boxes are, we're always going to have a brighter spot in the center than we are as it fades out to the outside. So. One of the things I always tell everybody to do is feather your lights off. You don't always have to make sure that this center is pointing right at your subject's face. If you look at a soft box and you look how the angle comes off of the soft box, the steepness of the sides, that's going to be how your light is actually going to come out of the soft box. So this light is not going to come out this way like a flashlight. It's going to come out like this like a huge floodlight. It's just gonna spread out and it's very soft. One of my favorite ways to shoot portraits is actually to put the light almost perpendicular to the subject's face as they're looking. So I have Jessica sitting there. She's actually, if we looked at it from the side, she's behind the soft box. But because of the edge of my soft box, light is spilling out onto Jessica really nice. And then this light off of this far side is actually coming around and reaching the far side of her face so that we get a nice gradient of light on her face and everything just looks nice and soft. So let's give this a try. Yeah, beautiful light by a softbox that's not actually pointed at the subject. All right, one last lesson when, as we talk about uh, mono lights today. Now this is actually for your mono lights, your speed lights, when you're shooting high speed sync, whenever. This is something we had asked a lot is, where should I place my light? So what I look at when I'm shooting a model is I'm looking right now and the sunlight is over her right shoulder. So it's setting up above her right shoulder. Where am I gonna put my soft box? The left side, no. I'm actually going to put it on the same side that the sun is coming on. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want this to look flashed. I want it to look like the light is just wrapping around the subject. So I have this super bright sunlight coming in. It just feels natural that that soft box is extending that light and looking very soft around her face. So let's take a shot and let me show you what this looks like. Beautiful. It 
does not look like we're using a flash. Thank you for watching everybody and a huge thank you to our model Jessica today. She did a fantastic job. You can follow her on Instagram at jessica.bonita. So like and subscribe and thanks guys.